Greetings, this is Mr. Hanley. I'll be demonstrating how to make a NetBeans um, file template for a Java class so you can have your own settings whenever you start a new Java class from the NetBeans environment. I'm doing this in uh, February 28th, 2017. We come under Tools in the NetBeans environment, we're going to choose Templates. And we're using NetBeans 8.2. Java class, what we're interested in, we're going to say open edit in editor. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove the information that is there. In fact, if there's any uh, if logic at the top, we'll get rid of it. We're going to leave the public class and the dollar sign name. And we'll start with an open uh, multi line header. Sorry, multi line comment. That's what I meant to say. We'll, we'll go ahead and we're going to put in the word Shenandoah Technology Department for fun. Okay. I'm gotten better at this because I just did it once without the correct audio. Shannon de Hoa, that's the high school I teach at in Clifton Park, New York. Make sure I don't misspell it because that would be embarrassing. Which I just did. Okay. And uh, I work at the tech department here in Shenandoah. So we'll give a setting there for the tech department. And that'll be all we'll have on that line. We're going to go down and we'll tab over and we'll put in a spot for the file name. And we'll put a colon. We're going to use a, a I guess you'd call it a macro. Don't know what the right word is. This will actually suck the file name out and insert it in place of the dollar sign curly brace name curly brace uh, placeholder, I guess you could call it. Come over, we'll put in the date. It's important to know what date this file was created. Once again, NetBeans provides us with the ability to ask the computer for the current date. We're also going to go ahead and put in the purpose of the file. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's on the recording. Uh, well, we'll remain. Whoop, hello. That will remain there. I'm not going to do this again. I've already done several of these recordings. And, of course, we'll put in the author. And that would be myself, Mr. Hanley. Whoop, can't spell my own name. And then we're going to go ahead and end the uh, file header by putting a whole bunch of dashes. We'll put a little nod out to Team 20. Wonderful robotics team full of bright young people and great mentors and lots of uh, lots of good things happening with that group of people. And that's my website, much maligned website that uh, needs a lot of work, but I'll get to it eventually. And then we'll take the public class name and we do want the scanner there because it's something we use so much. We're first learning Java. We love reading things in from the scanner. So let's, why not just toss it in there so we have it. And if you really want the main, which many people do, public, whoops, can't spell, but bear with me, public static void main. And we take a string array called args, which no one knows what that means, but who cares? I know what it means, but <laughs> can't explain it yet. And we're good to go. All right. So this is our nifty to file header. We're going to leave the purpose blank because... I don't know what each file's purpose is, but we'll go ahead and we're going to choose File Save. That will, in fact, save the template on our local computer. We'll close out of it, and then if we wanted to use that in future files, we might go ahead... Ooh, whoa, hello. What did I just do? I think I actually accidentally closed NetBeans, which I didn't mean to do. But if we wanted to use the old Java class... Oh, okay, I hit the wrong X. <laughs> okay. In future um, computers, or if we wanted to save it to Google Drive, if we're afraid our computer's going to get reimaged, we go to Tools Options and we tell NetBeans to go ahead and export it. We can take the templates. If you've already done any kind of settings for the... Um, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Code templates? Is this it? Code templates? Or is it templates? Oh, boy. That's a great question. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Hello! might be code templates, but I doubt it. I think that might be for individual commands. But we can go ahead and take the templates and blast them out to the um, to the uh, zip file and uh, 
And that is going to be nice for us because then we can uh, co copy them to another, uh, let's say, to Google Drive. And uh, there it is. It's a C users, Mr. Han, app data, roaming, netbeans.zip. And uh, we could take that and import it on another computer. And in fact, we have our settings, our file header transferred from one system to another or to Google Drive and back to the computer if the computer gets reimaged. Thank you. It's been Mr. Hanley showing you how to make your very own file header for a Java source file.